Well, these are the highlights of the Health Commission. Uh, we'll be looking at the evidence hearing sessions, and this is the second day of such uh, events. We've had wonderful set of uh, witnesses ranging from patients, experts in their own field, frontline staff, and really very, very rich material which will contribute to the Commission. It's an important theme for delivering uh, better value services, better value in the sense of better uh, use of money, but also better outcomes for patients, is to engage patients much more directly. The coordination of care, you know, showing patients that it's coordinated as well as actually coordinating it, we're, be, we're realizing this is care. And we need to really, really focus on primary and community care. The first thing I would say is that we need to promote um, collabor collaborative networks. Yeah. So, so this is um, not just vertically across the system between primary and secondary care, but also horizontally. To look at things from that population perspective so that everyone is seeing that what I am about is improving care for this group of patients rather than my organisation. In many cases, the NHS, it would appear, doesn't really know what it wants the estate to do itself. Um, and there seems to be real uh, confusion over um, who is responsible for making that decision. And I think you should say that by March 2015, and we'll help you in whatever way we can, um, you offer access to all records that people have in London. Uh, I'm here today to speak to the London Health Commission about the opportunities to transform London uh, to be a, a leader in the space of networking patients together to improve the health outcomes uh, of the city's citizens. Really, we're, we're thinking of three different ways that this could be done. First of all is to let patients help. Two, we want to free the data. The third thing we want to do is to reward agile innovation. I'm not sure London needs another plan. Um, uh, it's had quite a few. Uh, I think what needs to happen is we need to implement one. Um, uh, uh, and, uh, and I seriously think the way in which you work can change that. Well, I think the Mayor does have a very important role to play in the strategic planning of healthcare in London. This kid and I want the Com London Commission to take away from my evidence the importance of the right mobility equipment to the young person and their families to the disabled people. The NHS spends you'll be able to tell me the figures, but 95% of its budget uh, on cure and 5% on uh, other things. If you could move just 1% of that 95% and put it to prevention, you could have a massive impact. Community participation at the neighborhood level, you will find ways to engage different interests. And that in itself creates trust. There is a need, for example, to have a sort of cannabis recovery camp, yeah. you know. We could be a lot more imaginative about getting kids off drugs. My plea, therefore, is for the Commission to educate London when it comes to mental health. If we had health dining rooms, yeah. you know, where maybe health providers yeah. were all under one roof and young people could turn up to maybe have lunch or dinner, but also have access to health providers. And I think the big breakthrough would be, in, in my view, is would be if the responsibility for public health were devolved in its entirety to the, to the mayor. But I think um, we start to collaborate today and we need to continue that uh, forcefully and together uh, for many years ahead and we need to institutionalise that. And that has to be the mayor's office who drives that process and is the leader. But there's all sorts of um, uh, benefits to, to having a good, strong health industry yep. in its widest sense in London. Without passion, there will be no improvement in health.